All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and make a copy. I'm going to do Control J. I'm going to delete this one, then make another copy. I'm going to go ahead and group it, Control G, and I'm just name this main. All right, I'm just going here, just rename this master for the master copy, just in case I mess this one up and I have something to come back to. All right, so the first effect that I want to apply is the sharpen low. I'm going to do that twice, save this. All right, so let's go ahead and continue editing our main image. I'm just go in, clean up the skin. Just go here, spot healing. And then over here, let's get rid of that reflection. All right, that looks good. So my plan is I'm gonna turn this van, I'm gonna make it black because right now it doesn't look dangerous. And maybe get rid of this. I'm gonna see how that looks. All right, so I'm gonna crop the van out. I'm gonna use the pen tool. Now let's go to a path, hold control, select that, go make a selection. Go back here, hit control J to make a copy. Just close that out, make this bigger. Save this, so before, after. Now I'm start building up the scene. I'm gonna do that by bringing in the background. So here's the background. I'm gonna Bring it underneath the main image, disable that for now, and group this. So Control G, name that background. I'm just right click, convert to smart object. Control T, hold Shift and Alt, bring that up, rotate it, and let's go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and make sure the angle is the same. I'm gonna do about 204 and click OK. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer, bring up the levels, darken it just a little bit. I'm gonna create a color balance. I'm just making more blue, kind of like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new group, name that adjustment. I'm gonna go to my action, go down here to gray noise, click on play. And if you zoom in, you can see the before, after. Probably make another copy. And all right, I'm gonna save this. All right, so looking at this image now, I'm just get rid of that. So I'm just gonna go here to the main image. I'm gonna zoom in, just use the pen tool, make a point there. Close that out, let's go to path, select that, delete that. All right, now let's separate the main image from the van. I'm gonna do that by using the pen tool. All right, let's zoom out and let's go here to path. Same thing, hold control, select that. Make a selection, control J to make a copy. And I'm just go ahead and um, bring these. We'll just go ahead and group it first and just name that van. Then just bring it underneath the main image. Let's go ahead and uh, zoom in. I'm gonna uh, double click this. And let's do a color overlay and just make sure that's black, pass it all the way up. If you zoom in, you can see like the white spots. All right, so to clean this up, let's go ahead and go down here to the van, let's make a copy and let's go here to the main image and we're gonna hold control, select that. Let's go to select, modify, expand. Let's keep that at five, click okay. Let's go to edit, fill, and then select content aware, click okay. First, we gotta make sure we select this one. Now we go to edit, fill, content aware, click okay. Control D to select. Now, as you can see, so that's before, after. It did a good job around that area, that area. The only thing is it add extra pixel. I'm show you how to clean that up. So let's go down here, hold control, select that. We'll make a selection and go here, click on the mask. Now we got rid of it, save that. So there's some parts that we need to clean up. So like right there, there. So to do that, let's go ahead, select that. Go here to the clone. Let's go ahead and sample this and go ahead and just paint that in. Sample that, same here. Hold Alt, sample that, paint that up, paint that down. And this one, we should go ahead and uh, get rid of that. And just making sure everything looks good. Clean that up, hold Alt. Same here, sample that. All right, that looks good. Save that. Now let's go ahead and start adding some adjustment layer to the van. So I'm just going ahead and select all this. Group that, name that van. Let's create a new levels and start in the, first do clipping mask, darken it just a little bit like that. Lower the white, kind of like that. And let's go underneath here, color balance, mid-tone. Let's add some blue tint to match the background. That looks good. Save that. Now let's add a levels. And we're gonna make the van from gray to black. So let's go ahead and uh, kind of go like that. And let's invert the mask, so control I. All right, so now I'm gonna use the pen tool to mask out the just the uh, van and not the windows and stuff. 
All right, let's go to path, select that. I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna go here to layers and I'm gonna do control I, control D to select. And I'm just uh, invert it kind of like that. Double click this. It might be too dark, so I'm gonna make it match the, um, make it match the same as the window, kind of like that. And let's create a new adjustment, black and white. So before, after, save that. Now I'll create new levels and I'll bring it down kind of like that. Make it darker. B for brush. Make sure that's black. Now I'm going to paint this in. All right, so I'm going to go here underneath the van. Let's create a new layer and I'm going to select the lasso tool and I'm going to fill that in with black. Control D to select. Bring the opacity down kind of like that. I'm going to save that for now. Now I'm going to start working on the main image. But first, let's go down here to the background and let's fix this levels. Maybe make it brighter, kind of like that. Save that. Let's go to our main image and let's uh, remove that. Go ahead and group this. Name that main. Now let's add some levels. Make sure the clipping mask is on and darken it. Bring this down, kind of like that. And let's add a color balance. Let's go here. Let's make a copy. Save with this. Let's go to our action. Let's add sharp and low. Maybe just one time. That's good. So let's zoom in. Let's clean up the skin real quick. And let's go to the adjustment. I'm just make a copy. Bring this down here. And let's go here. Let's go to the smudge tool. Keep that at 40. And let's go ahead and clean up the skin kind of like that. Actually, let's make a copy of this. Bring this above this. And let's bring the opacity down. Bring it up maybe about 50. So it still has some texture of the skin. And let's go ahead and continue cleaning that up. All right, that looks good for now. Let's zoom out. All right, let's go up here. Let's create a new folder. Just name that glow. Create a new layer. I'm just go here. Select this blue. Okay, B for brush. And I'm just paint that in kind of like that. And let's change the blending mode to color dodge. And let's create a new layer. Do the same thing, but this time I'm gonna select this orange. Click okay. B for brush. Paint that in kind of like that. Change that to color dodge. I'm gonna double click this. Hold alt. I'm gonna split that kind of like that. Click okay. Save that. All right. Let's go here to the glow. I'm gonna go to the orange, select the mask, B for brush, and I'm just gonna remove some of the orange on the face. I think that looks good. Let's go down here, create a new layer, Control Alt G for the clipping mask. And again, I'm just select a or sample color there, maybe that one, something more vibrant, and click fill that in. Alt backspace, change that to color dodge, and just double click this, hold alt. Let's go ahead and split this kind of like that. Click OK, select the mask, let's invert the mask, Control I, B for brush, make sure this is white, bring the size of this up, and let's do 30 for the opacity, kind of like that. All right, so let's go down here, let's create a new layer, same thing, sample, kind of like orange, yellow, fill that in, change the blending mode to color dodge, double click this, and let's hold Alt, split that. Kind of like that. Click OK. Select the mask. Let's invert the mask. And let's paint this in. Kind of like that. Save that. Now let's make a copy of the orange. Control J. Control Alt G for the clipping mask. And I'm going to fill that in with black. I'm going to zoom in. All right, now we're going to use the brush. Let's paint in some highlights. And I'm going to keep this at 50. And I'm hit X. I'm going to use the black just to remove some of it like that. And use the white. Paint that back in. And then I'm going to use the black. Zoom out. Let's take a look at it. Bring the size of the brush down. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing for the blue. So I'll just make a copy of this. Go ahead and uh, right click, delete mask for now. Control Alt G and select the mask again. Just invert that, zoom in. So for the blue, I'm gonna change the opacity 33.
Now for the AK, I'm just do the opacity at 100. Now you can't see that much on the AK, so I'm gonna make a copy and I'm gonna do Control Alt G. I'm gonna fill this in with white so we can see it for now. And let's go ahead and uh, fix the fix that. Click OK and let's invert the mask. B for brush. Make sure that's white. I'm gonna clean that up. It looks like it's too bright. I have this texture with some water on it. I'm gonna use that for the window in the back. So those two. I'm gonna bring this underneath the van. I'm gonna go ahead and group this. Just name that window. Let's go inside here. Let's disable the uh, black window. Let's go ahead and close this. Go down here, let's make a copy. And this one, I'm just name this master copy, just in case we mess up. I'm gonna come back to it, hit Control T, and I'm hold Shift, bring it in like that. I'm gonna rotate it, I'm gonna right click, distort, bring that in, bring that kind of like that. Right click. Hit warp, bring that up kind of like that. Hit enter, make a copy of the master. Control T, so kind of like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and merge these two. Control E, I'm gonna go here to my action, sharpen high, and let's double click this. And let's remove some of the highlights. I'm gonna hold Alt and split it kind of like that. Let's bring back some of the shadows in the back. Maybe bring back kind of like that. Click OK, bring the opacity down about 77. Save that. Now let's go here to the glow, create a new layer. I'm just like kind of like a blue like that. B for brush. Change that to screen. So maybe about, let's do 60. Save that. Now I'm going go down here to the background and I'm just go ahead, just make a copy of the group. Control E, merge it, bring it inside the glow. And I'm change that to screen. I hit Control L, bring up the levels kind of like that. And let's mask this. Control I, B for brush. And I'm gonna make sure that's white to feather that. And let's do opacity at 100. Now let's add some dust down here. Let's create a new group. Let's create a new layer. And I'm just go here to my brush. Select the fog and zoom out. And I'm gonna paint that in kind of like that. Bring the opacity down kind of like that. Let's go to our adjustment, create a new layer. Let's fill that in with black. Select like the brush. I'm gonna change that to the uh, original. Hardness all the way down. And let's select kind of like a blue like that. Paint that in. And let's select kind of orange. And bring the size of this brush down just a little bit. Kind of like that. Change that to soft light. Save this. Let's double click this. Or actually, let's do control L. Bring up the levels. And let's bring back or bring some of the shadows. Kind of like that. So before, after, probably make another copy. Control L, make a little bit darker, make a little bit brighter, kind of like that. But let's lower the opacity. Let's do 20, to save that. All right, let's go here to the van. Let's create a new layer. Control Alt G for the clipping mask. And let's fill it in with kind of blue like that. Alt Backspace. Let's change the blending mode to color dodge. Double click this. So kind of like that. Click OK. So before, after and i'm gonna bring the opacity down maybe about 53 save that now let's create a new layer do the same thing select a orange kind of like that Control alt g alt backspace to fill it in same thing color dodge double click that hold alt split that kind of like that click ok select the mass Control i to invert it b for brush make sure that's white so just a little bit, kind of like that. Save that. Now let's go ahead and select all this. Make a copy. Control J, Control E to merge it. And Control A, copy that again. Delete that. Let's go to filter. Let's open up the camera raw filter. And let's go ahead and add some texture. Let's bring up the highlights just a little bit. Shadows maybe lower like that. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments, and I'm going to see you guys next time.